What's up guys, welcome to another FIFA Ultimate Team video and today has seen the release of the English Premier League Team of the Season so far cards and the ones you're going to be able to get in packs look absolutely jacked. They are amazing cards in there. So good luck to any of you trying to pack those. I hope you do get the ones that you want or at least get one. That will be very, very nice indeed. But we're going to be focusing on the SBC player and that is Wilfred Ndidi. He's 91 rated central defensive midfielder card. Looks very impressive from the outside outset we're going to see exactly what he has to offer us when in game we're going to check and see how much the SBC costs and then we're also going to talk about what chem stars probably work best with this particular card so let's get right into it and start with these work rates it's got medium attack high defense work rates I think it's very classy for a CDM it's very nice indeed probably not the best best you're probably looking for is low attack high defense but this is still very good nonetheless skill moves of three stars is nice for a CDM of course um, I think that's very passable indeed. His weak foot of four stars is a really nice addition as well. Very, very good. In terms of his attributes, his pace with an acceleration of 79 and sprint speed of 82 is all right for a central midfielder. Anything over 80 plus in pace overall for me for central midfielders is good. However, you may want to consider boosting this up given how fast other players are within game at this current point in the cycle. In terms of his shooting stats, the attack precision of 88 is nice. Shot power of 99 is very impressive. That long shots of 90 is very good, and the volleys of 87 are quite nice as well. His finishing kind of sucks at 66, and with his penalties of 73, it's not really a stat I would lose too much sleep over. In terms of his passing stats, vision of 83, very good. Um, short pass and long pass, really, really nice stats there at 95 and 90 respectively. Uh, his crossing sucks at 61. The free kick accuracy and curve, both at 71, is not really uh, stats to get too upset about either. In terms of his dribbling stats, though, that composure of 90 is brilliant. Dribbling of 87, really nice. Ball control, 89, very nice. Reactions of 92, very, very good indeed. His balance is a little low at 78. And the agility of 81 is definitely not the best, but it's okay. Um, so there is probably room for improvement there. In terms of his defensive stats, though, wow. Those are some defensive stats on a CDM. Interceptions of 93, defensive awareness of 93, stand tackle of 94, and a slide tackle of 92. Absolutely brilliant. Heading accuracy is okay at 84, but given the way that heading works within game, it's not really a stat I'd get too worried about. In terms of those physicals as well, really good physicals across the board. That aggression of 94, stamina of 99, jumping of 99, wow. Strength of 82 is okay, it's not great, but even so, this is some really really good card uh, i wonder if he has any traits at all no traits at all unfortunately there but all in all this is a fantastic card i wonder how much he's going to come in at so he's only available for four days you need to give over three different squads in order to complete the sbc those three squads are a leicester player with a team in a week 83 rated squad with 80 chemistry in return you get a premium mixed players pack uh, a Premier League player with a team of the week, 84 rated, 75 chemistry, you get a jumbo premium goal pack. And then finally, just an 85 rated squad with a 75 chemistry and a prime Electrum players pack. You know what? That could be very good value for money. That could be very good value for money. Let me just check Footbin right now to see how much he's coming in at. Uh, you're probably looking at, wow, 165k, seriously, for this on PlayStation, just pure liquid coins, 165k, that is fantastic value. A little bit more expensive on Xbox, you're looking at about the 180k mark at present. It's probably going to come down a little bit more maybe over the next few days, but that is fantastic value. Considering that David De Gea was 130k for a 92 rated goalkeeper. Mate, this card is so much better. This is ridiculous. That is just fantastic value. Really, really good value. If you can complete this SBC, do it. It is a must. He is a fantastic, fantastic card. Okay, let's talk about Ken Stars to use on this particular card. There are a few that you probably would consider. I think there's probably four that are by far the best to use with this card. I'm going to roll through each of those right now uh, the first one i'm going to recommend is by far is an engine 
I think an engine is going to be brilliant. He sees a little boost in pace, bringing his acceleration to an 84, sprint speed to an 87. He also sees really nice boost within his passing, with vision going to an 88, short passing and long passing both becoming 99s, and he gets a nice little boost on free kick accuracy and crossing too. He also gets some nice boost within dribbling. While his composure stays at 90, that is already a very, very good stat indeed. He's got dribbling, goes up to a 97. That ball control becomes a 94. Reactions go up to a 97. Gets a big boost in balance, bringing it to an 88. And his agility goes up to an 86 as well, which I think is very, very nice boost indeed. He's already got fantastic defending stats. Already got really, really good physical stats. And in all fairness, outside the box, in terms of shooting, he is brilliant too. So there's not... Apart from just the pace and the dribbling, which probably need the most amount of improvement, I think an engine chem style works best for him. Now, if you're looking purely at a CDM point of view and you just want to max him out for that CDM role, make him the best defender possible in terms of that role, you're probably looking at a Guardian would be my number one choice here because I do value the dribbling stats quite a lot so his agility will go up to a 91 ball control goes to a 99 dribbling becomes 92 and his composure goes up to a 95 so reaction stays at a 92 but that's already a fantastic stat in itself balance unfortunately stays at 78 which is a little bit disappointing but his defensive stats just max out to 99s in terms of interceptions defensive awareness stand tackle and slide tackle the only one that doesn't max out is heading accuracy but i don't think that's a stat we need to get too upset about the other two chem stars i'll probably look at putting on this particular card is an anchor to see some nice little boost in pace gets fantastic boosts all round for defending as well pretty much 99s across the board apart from interception which only goes to a 98 and his head and accuracy also only goes to a 94 and he also gets a little nice boost in physical as well with the strength going up to an 87 and his aggression going up to a 99 now the last chem style i would consider putting on this card is going to be a shadow Shadow just maxes out his pace, something ridiculous. You're looking at a 94 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. Absolutely ridiculous. His defensive stats also are just mega insane. 99s across the board with only heading accuracy being an 89 stat. He also doesn't see any improvements here, obviously, within dribbling, but he's already got pretty decent dribbling stats. It's just I don't like the fact that his agility and balance are at an 81 and 78. But apart from that, man, this card just looks beautiful. Absolutely fantastic CDM all around. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Please leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of this particular NDD card. I think he's a fantastic card at a fantastic value. I definitely recommend going and completing the SBC. And until next time, guys, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll check you guys out. Laters.